Once upon a time, there was a plucky squire named Jot. Jot lived in the land of Mojo, a land of creativity. Mojo was ruled by the gentle queen, Chroma. He defended the land from the nefarious sorcerer, Humgrubble. Which everyone very much appreciated. Good lad! Well done! Racky. Jot was also a writer and would transcribe his many adventures in book form. These tales were avidly read by all the people of the land, who found them quite gripping. Jot awoke one fine morning and pluckily leapt from his bed. From afar, he could hear some rather exciting music. He got dressed and went to investigate. Chapter 1 Some Serious Beeswax This was a house of the good wizard, Moonbeard, Jod's close friend and mentor. Ah, Jot, my lad, he exclaimed. I'm on a roll here, traveling to new musical realms. Since you're here, lad, I have a small favor to ask. Wax. I need more wax, lad. To press more records, you know. Would you go to Honey Peak and get some wax from Benny B? Pip here will accompany you. Honey Peak. <gasps> now this looked really quite precarious.
honey badger seemed rather annoyed. Jot prepared for a dust-up. The beast was bested. Yeah. The plucky squire triumphant. Down they fell. Oof. It was time to confer with Moonbeard. Look, I tried this game and yeah, it was pretty good. I liked it a lot. It was violent. Violet was a trainee witch with a love of art and Jot's childhood friend. Yeah, kind of sucks. I mean, there's not a lot of games, but oh well. I think um, two games that I'm really Started, but or not. I don't need a whole bunch of games. Like, I think I'm going to that stupid uh, Game Pass mindset where I need like all the games. It's like, like, do I though? Not really.
I don't know. I call it a game pass mindset, but it's like, it, yeah, it kind of is a game pass mindset. Where it's like you need all the game, and you don't really buy many games. It's like I'm kind of the same way because I don't buy any games. But that's because, like, not many games interest me. And if they do interest me, uh, like, uh, what is it? Oh, yeah, that game. Uh, being out of the way. That game looks really good. It's just that game. Um, what is it? That game, like, yeah, I want the deluxe edition, but the deluxe edition is, uh, freaking $70, and it's like, yeah, you know what? I'll wait until that is, uh, lower in price. Uh, the same with, um, Yakuza or, yeah, Yakuza 8 or like Dragon 8, whatever. I'll wait until that's a bit lower. Because I want the deluxe this, even though it's kind of stupid. Uh, the new game plus is a DLC, but that's um, like 70 so dollars as well. I'll wait until that's lower. It's the same with uh, Grim Grim War, it's like that game was. $30, and maybe I'm just being cheap, whatever, who cares, but yeah, I want that to be like $15, but it will only go down probably 20 oh, the same, also the same with uh, this guy, 7, I want the complete edition. Chapter two. But I Tome think that's Tower. like eighty dollars and it's like okay. What's with these games being so fucking expensive? Edge by their fingernails. When suddenly they were grabbed. And hoisted up. Whatever though. By who? By Thrash. Thrash was a mountain troll. And George and Violet's childhood friend. The trio had not been together for quite a while. And so were very happy to be reunited.
Iya, bagus video tuh for what I thought. But in terms of PlayStation Plus games, I have this game, Secret Agent Link, Trick of Yomi. I wanna freaking play. Uh, what else? There was another game I completely forgot. But yeah, there's a ton of games I need to play. Oh yeah, there was SpongeBob Cosmic Shake. I didn't play on PS5 yet. I played the PS4 version, but not the PS5 version. Uh, the same thing with Lost Judgment. I played the PS4 version because I only had a PS4 at the time. Now I want to play the PS5 version. I also want to play Cyberpunk even though people say it's bad as like whatever. I don't care. I really don't care. I can't go out there, why? Am I supposed to like go down here or something? I don't get it. Yeah, I don't get it. What am I supposed to do? What does it say to Home Tower? Okay. Oh, I was supposed to go down there. I didn't see the prom. That was my mistake. Yeah, so it's not like I don't want to buy games. So I have too many games to fucking play. So I like that, but then at the same time. That I uh, just like basically all types of games. Well, maybe not all, but a lot. And it's like he played the Rise of Ronin demo, well, that was good. Uh, 
But obviously, I'm not gonna get rid of it. I really want to go way down because I don't know. Call me crazy. I don't like them. Freaking souls like games. Lego games, like I like them and everything, but I usually get Lego games when they're like twenty dollars, like thirty. I think it's pushing it, but it's like whatever. Sometimes I still get them for thirty, but not much. But there hasn't been a Lego game for quite a while. At least I feel like there hasn't been. Sure, there's a Lego Horizon coming out, and they're saying that's cool. But I guess that, yeah, I guess that's the next Lego game, even though it's not a traditional Lego game. I, at least it doesn't look like one. Where you get studs and all that, it's more of, yeah, it's more of a, I don't know action adventure games and Lego games to be honest. But whatever. I'll probably get that game too when it's like 30, 20, 30 dollars. Like, hopefully it goes that low. But I have no idea. But it is more platform so maybe it's just I feel that uh, Sony exclusives stay high in price because Obviously, some of it has to do with uh, in, uh, inflation is stupid. But I think the other bit is like, oh, it's uh, only on freaking PlayStation. Yeah, so Sony has this weird freaking uh, thing about it. Because they raise the price and just continue to just sure they get negative press, but it's like they're not really affected. And that's the thing. It's like, okay, there's this 
huge backlash, but nothing really happens. It's like me, I change how it did because it's like, yeah, but PlayStation Plus, when you got it for a hundred dollars, it's like, well, hundred ten dollars, it's like I still buy games pretty frequently. Now the price went up only for the Yeah, only for the freaking year new subscription. Which is really dumb. But anyways. Oh, you can move. But yeah, I've been not second guessing, but I've been second thinking more now. Like giving freaking man a second thought. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I do I need to carefully read uh, what he says? A real way. Okay, this for us. Difficult to push through. To why to push? Was, uh, it's a horse. Was into a forest. What do you mean? If the forest was in a forest. Can I, uh... What does this mean, Bly? Too far. Okay, this here was Oh, can I pick up? Oh. 
Oua. Oh, he pushes us out of the river. Oh, that would be. Oops, I thought so. Because I keep doing that. I don't know why stairs are over the map. Yes, there. There might be these waters. We might go to. We got to go to black. Oh, I have. I didn't know I know what. Okay, that's. That makes it tiny bit more sense. Not much though. Yeah, that was weird. Well, that's what I get for not really fixing my uh, paying attention. Well, I would have figured out that last 
puzzles, but Our trio it would have been a lot longer. There, on the horizon. But anyways, how freaking good it was. Freaking anime or whatever.
Jot made his way up the steep steps. And so, the Pluggy Squire once again defeated the wretched wizard Humgrum.